Hey and welcome to another episode of Quick Expert Reviews. Today we've got an LG K4 2017 that, um, surprise surprise, is replacing the K4 2016. Um, there will be a bit of a comparison in a sec uh, between those two handsets, but let's see what's in the box. Apart from the phone you get a charger, a box standard charger. Yeah. Uh, standard British charger uh, let's have a look what's the power output 0 0.85 amperes okay and then we've got the battery a replaceable battery that's of 2500 million period hours um, size so pretty decent and then we've got the lead, the cable, which is a micro USB. Um, so no type C. Obviously the phone is reasonably priced, $49.99 here in UK. So, so yeah, you've got the micro USB port, you've got the headphone jack to the left. Um, pretty nice, solid, um, plastic obviously. Um, back cover, uh, unlock button. It's not a fingerprint sensor, it's just an unlock button. Microphone on top and uh, a small dot where you can open the casing with. Now, as you can see, top corner, you've got the micro USB and uh, micro SIM, not nano, micro SIM slot. So yeah, and a volume rocker to the, to the right. Mm, okay, let's put the battery in and let's see um, how it stacks against the last year model, the LG K4 2016. So as you can see, they look they, they look completely different to be honest. Yep, so completely um, different sizes. Um, even the screen, it's five inch, um, and the, the, obviously the, the, the phone size is slightly bigger. Um, but it's not a 720p screen on neither of them, so would be a nice uh, option like let's say on the um, Sony Xperia L1 that I've uh, reviewed recently but yeah the K4 16 to the left and K4 17 to the right um, okay so let's let's see what they are running on uh -huh. whenever I can unlock so this one is running on 5.1.1 that's the last year model so it hasn't been updated LG style and this one is running on 6.0.1 that's, that's quite interesting oh my god android security patch level 1st of december 2016 that's that's strange considering the phone has been released just now in uk okay we've got one gigabyte of internal memory that's ram and then we've got eight gigabytes of uh, internal storage and that's 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 about it and um, obviously you can expand it with a memory card if you'd like to yeah skip that okay oh, so, oh. preparing search let's go back uh, okay let's go back Mm, what else can we see in here? So obviously being a $49.99 phone, um, at least here in UK, you don't expect much from a handset like this. So let's have a look what comes pre-installed on the phone. So I just need to adjust. Yeah. So in the LG folder, you've got the LG Smart Vault, which is like a Samsung App Store. In the tools, you've got the File Manager, FM Radio and Polaris Office. That's pretty decent considering it comes pre-installed. Um, then, obviously I've got an Antutu and Geekbench, which I'm gonna run later on. Remote call service, LG backup, battery usage and battery saver. So you can you can at least see what's what, what's what's running um, in the background now the camera is of five megapixels on the back and two megapixels on the front now in terms of 
like you know any settings you've got the cheese shutter which allows you to make a picture when you shout cheese or LG and then you've got the HDR mode and a grid that's that's about it these are all the settings you've got and in terms of camera recording yeah that's that's <laughs> all you can do you can't choose the resolution or anything like that now apparently it does record in 720p um, so hopefully uh, you know you, you can record something if you'd like to but there's there's not much else in in regards to that um, again that's why the asking price is like this now you can take pictures while recording which is obviously nice um but yeah being a phone with a snapdragon 210 and you know one gigabyte of ram you can't expect a lot out of it now obviously my favorite apple stand uh, apple charger that works as a stand will help us with a geekbench and we can see how does the phone stack now we would see normally which is what happens in other reviews however um this review uh, th this this handset refused to run a benchmark so that geekbench 4 unfortunately failed a couple of times now you can see it doesn't even start um so after that i've tried with the um, Antutu 3D but unfortunately after a couple of seconds it died as well so you can see in a sec so yeah after Geekbench failed I've tried with Antutu and the results weren't very pleasant I mean you'll see how it runs at the beginning but you won't be able to um, see what's the result the end result because the app crashes so yeah, it's, it's not it's not a phone made for gaming or anything like that. It's it's a secondary or even third phone <laughs> um, that you could use for like you know cheap calls or anything like that. Maybe cheap international calls uh, if you really need an Android handset. Um, but a box standard Nokia would do the same thing. Without yeah, you can see the lag face. Thanks for watching another episode, and I'll see you next time with something special. Bye.